Here's how an auto dimming rear view mirror works. To remove the rear view mirror, you just move it up and you'll see a torque screw here that you loosen up. Then you slide the mirror up and away from the window and disconnect the plug at the back. So here we've got the mirror removed from the vehicle. It's actually made by a company called Gentex, which is a fairly popular company for auto dimming rear view mirrors. I'm going to go ahead with my screwdriver and start prying around the edges to open this up to see what's inside. And remove this bezel. Okay, so just before I take this apart, I'm just going to show you how this works. I'm going to apply 12 volts at the back of the plug here. And you can see instantly the mirror is starting to dim as it turns on. I'm covering the sensor at the back with my hand. And then when I turn it off, you can see it starts to clear. Again, when I turn it on, it starts to dim very instantly because of the light in the front. Then I'll pop out this assembly from the housing. Now the way an auto dimming mirror works is we've got an electrochromatic mirror that is controlled by a control unit. We've also got two sensors, one mounted on the front towards the windshield to sense ambient light and one mounted towards the back to sense glare. So here on the front of the mirror we've got an LED, an on and off switch, as well as the rear light sensor that senses glare from vehicles behind. If I turn it over you can see the ambient light sensor that senses ambient light through the windshield of the car as well as the 12 volt connector. Other than that the circuitry is pretty simple. It consists of a couple of diodes, capacitors, resistors and a control circuit chip right here. During nighttime, the ambient light sensor will send a signal to the control unit telling it that it's a low light condition. If a light source appears from behind a vehicle causing glare, the glare sensor will send a signal to the control unit. The control unit which inputs 12 volts will output a very low voltage signal to the electrochromatic mirror causing it to darken. Let's take a closer look at how this electrochromatic mirror works. An auto dimming rear view mirror works on the principle of electrochromism. That is there are five layers a material sandwiched between a piece of glass and a mirror. Now if you look closely you'll notice that this glass is just a clear glass and this is a mirror glass with an electrolytic film in between. The outer two layers are your conductive layers followed by the ion storage layer, an electrolyte and the electrochromic layer. Now normally with no voltage applied this would be transparent and light would pass through the glass, bounce back from the mirror and into the driver's face. When we apply a very low voltage to the conductors Ions from the ion storage layer move over into the electrochromic layer causing it to darken. This means a very limited amount of light is allowed to bounce back through the mirror and into the driver's face reducing glare. This here is where low voltage is applied to the electrolytic film between the two pieces of glass. When this control circuit using these sensors here senses that the vehicle is experiencing glare it will send a low voltage signal through these wires here to the electrolytic layer in between this glass. That will cause the glass to dim until the sensors indicate that the glare has subsided and it will clear the glass. The casing is pretty much two ball joints encased within a shaft to allow adjustability. And that pretty much sums up how one of these auto dimming rear view mirrors work.